What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And I have a exciting video for you guys today. I've been wanting to get one of these little mini like HDMI sticks that plugs into the back of your TV and you have a full-blown computer. Albeit not the fastest computer in the world, but it's something you could run a server off of or you know just check your emails or something. All right, we're getting there, slowly but surely. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. This was sent to me, and I want to thank them very much. They sent me a keyboard, so it has a built-in touchpad and all these neat little things. You can see that it has a 10 meter range, 33 feet. It is a built-in touchpad, plug and play, 18 month battery life, and a media friendly keyboard layout. So that's really, really cool. Let's play with that. And in here, we have the mini PC stick. All right, now that we have some proper utilities, <laughs> uh, we're gonna be able to open this. This does come with 32 gigs of memory built into it. It does have RAM, two gigabytes of DDR3. It is a Bay Trail quad core up to 1.83 gigahertz. Let's go ahead and open this sucker up. Let's cut the little seal here. Back when I was more into tutorials, I was always looking for a way of doing a video on like, this is how you install this driver, you disable verification, like you do all these things. And I always had the hardest time capturing it because I had to reboot my computer. And if you're using capture software, you have to stop recording. Something like this, I can plug into my little capture card, reboot the thing and mess with BIOS settings and everything. And it's all going to be, you know, recorded because it's over HDMI. So, this is pretty cool. I may have to start getting back into tutorials again. Alright. So, we've got some stuff here. And we've got some user manuals here, adjusting the resolution. We click graphics properties, raw display, resolution, and refresh rate. Alright. Very simple packaging. Look at this. Look at this. You've got the power supply here. You've got the actual computer. It has a Wi-Fi antenna on it, which is cool. I like that it has this because you're going to get better range with this than you would without it. You've got a full USB port. You've got your power there. A button of some sort, maybe to reset it or power it on or something. And then you have a micro SD card so you can throw a gigantic 64 gig, possibly 128 gig micro SD card in there. And then you've got your micro USB, uh, like an OTG thing. This seems like it's fanless. It doesn't have any sort of, uh, like, f fan, I guess. So that's cool. All right. Let's go get our monitor and set this thing up. Oh, first, let's go ahead and just take a look at the keyboard that they also sent us. Again, thank you very much. All right. This is going to help out a lot because it's just one little dongle and it's going to serve as both the keyboard and the mouse. So this is going to be really, really cool. All right. Here's the battery tray. Let's see what type of batteries it takes. It takes two double A's. Okay. Okay. And it says control PC to TV environment from your couch. So you can either like change the mouse like left or right or you can turn it on or off. I'm not quite sure at the moment. The keys feel just fine for my fingers, which is awesome. I can't stand tiny little keys where my fingers are like... I have to peck type. I hate that. But this one, I don't have to peck type. I can easily type. Yeah. All right. So where is... Here it is. Here's the little USB guy. And that's about it. So we're going to take this, and we're going to plug it into the USB port on that right there. All right. I kind of want to just go plug this into my capture card. But let's go ahead and plug it up to the monitor real quick. Let's give it some power. All right, in this part of the video, we're gonna actually plug it in and play with it. Let's go ahead and plug it into the HDMI cord here. So just attaching it into a little extender thing. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug it in. It looks like it's powered right off of a micro USB port. That's cool. A little blue light right there. It's red at the moment. So I might have to press this little button that I was Seeing her. Yep, okay, so I pressed the button and the little blue light came on. 
Now the monitor LED should light up, letting me know that something is happening, maybe? Is it off? No, if it was off, the little light would be gone. Maybe it wasn't plugged in all the way? There we go. The little light turned blue. Cool. The well, little cable that I have, the little extender is kind of not the greatest. All right, I can already use the little touchpad right here, so let's go ahead and choose English, United States. And then we are Central Time at the moment. That will change probably very next few months or so. And then next. All right, let's go ahead and accept. And it's going to do this little process thing here. I like green. So let's go ahead and choose green. Let's do PC stick. There we go. We'll hit enter. Let's connect to our OnHub router. Once you connect to the router, it asks you to put in the password. We went ahead and did that. And let's just use express settings. I'll change those later on because I really don't feel like setting all that up. There is a little trick to this. If you do Josh at Gmail or any sort of fake address and then you do password, and then just type in like any random password, I don't know, just something that's not real, and then enter. And it'll say, create a local account down here at the bottom right. Let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll name this PC Josh. And we'll go down to finish. And let's go ahead and skip all this. This is pretty cool. I could see myself using this a lot. My Chromebook currently has an issue I don't know what happened to it but the screen just doesn't turn on and I have to use it as a desktop so I might actually use this one instead because this is pretty cool I'll use it for some things definitely but I totally could see using this as a computer for this monitor right here because usually I have my Chromebook displaying on this monitor so like I can have reddit open or have my email open or have destiny out of manager open or have something open over here that can use what the other monitor sits next to it, the TV. You could possibly install other operating systems such as Ubuntu on here and make it a little HDMI Linux computer as well. Definitely lots to explore and play with on this little guy. Yay, updates are done. <laughs> that actually didn't take that long. Aw, really? It hasn't gotten very warm yet. I mean, you have to, like, hold your finger there for a minute just to feel the tiniest amount of heat. It's not even remotely hot at the moment. While it's installing some apps and stuff, I want to go ahead and say that while this is convenient when you have this in your lap and you don't have anywhere to set a mouse, it's a lot slower than if you had an actual physical mouse. So if you have a place to put a mouse pad, I do recommend getting a little... You can get a single USB receiver... And it will have a full keyboard. This is a smaller keyboard. It'll have a full-size keyboard, and you'll have a full-size mouse, all off of one USB thing. And it'll you'll be able to click stuff a whole lot faster than doing this little number right here. <laughs> it's cool that it included it on the keyboard. So if you're sitting on the couch, you really don't want to have a mouse sitting next to you. It could fall on the cushions or or something like that. So it's it's cool. Definitely better than not having a touchpad on there. Like I said, if you have a spot for a mouse, I recommend getting a two-in-one combo that has a full mouse and a full keyboard. <laughs> I just noticed that this looks like it could be for Android also. You've got back, home, recent apps, menu. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Really? Almost? <laughs> Two hours later wow okay cool <laughs> all right so this will be upgrading to 10 and i will do that but for the sake of time let's go to internet explorer or should i say internet exploder and we will go to my channel let's go to youtube.com slash w josh d w and 
Um, go back. There we go. Check it out. No, don't play a video. Don't do it. Don't do it. Although the sound was coming through the monitor on the uh, right here. There's speakers inside this monitor, so that's pretty cool that it did that. And you can use both fingers to like scroll through the web page here. Pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. I will have you link to this in the description. I will need more time to play with this. Let's go ahead and uh, click on this and see what happens. Wow, that loads up almost instantly. Let's go full screen. Allow always. Well, that's pretty quick. That was very quick. Let's click on another video. Let's see what happens. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's actually pretty freaking fast. I think I'm going to like this thing. <laughs> Anyways, I'll have a link to this guy in the description if you want to purchase one for yourself. You can install anything you want. You can install Chrome. You can install Minecraft. You can install anything. And we've got this 128 gig micro SD card here. Let's go ahead and stick it into the little unit here. It probably goes the other way. All right, nice and flush. It's in there smooth. And now we have 32 gigs of internal storage. And 128 gigs to store downloads, torrents, anything you want to store. It's freaking awesome. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button at the bottom left of the video player. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you're not following me on Twitter and Instagram, please do so. If you want to keep in touch with me, see what videos are coming out next, and etc. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.